Mm, beautiful morning to you today. Hi. Hello. How Good are morning. you? Oh, it's a beautiful day. I've come to give you an update on the fourth dimensional energy that is in the solar system or almost here. It is not here yet, but it's on its way and it does look like it's going to come pretty much right through the middle of the solar system. But I've learned a lot more about it. So there's less there's less of a problem with it than I thought. Yes, it will bring timelines together. Yes, it will draw fourth dimensional energy all over the place. And yes, it does fluctuate a bit. But it is going to be helping your Mother Earth. Mother Earth is going to be soaking in this fourth dimensional energy and going to be becoming much more healed by it. So that is one thing that we are aware of now that we were not aware of before. We did not realize that the Mother Earth was going to be taking in so much of the energy. The other thing that is important is that Little did I know, but many of the people on Earth have been calling for this fourth dimensional energy for quite a while now. I just became aware of that a few days ago. And it is that they are bringing this energy to us and want it to come right through the center of the, the solar system so that it does affect us in a very positive way. And it's a beautiful thing. And the effects of it as I can understand by those that are drawing it to us or you or whatever you want to say I'm going to be part of it too because I can't stand not being able to experience it in some way so I'm going to be part of it as well but they say it will actually ignite some of the fourth dimensional energy within you and actually you will be able to see other timelines of course you will be able to know that they are coming together the Mandela effect has already been cited many many times over and it's very exciting in many ways but do not be afraid of it it will come when it comes it will affect each individual separately according to how much fourth dimensional energy they have within their system within their brains within their body and also it will affect them according to their belief systems interesting interesting because I know that the people that are sitting around here today that I'm looking at through fuzzy eyes are are those that believe very much in the positive uh, energies of this planet and the ascension and the different things that are happening so it will be a wonderful and marvelous time for you now it will not end for a little while this energy will continue to go throughout its several hundred thousand miles long this this cloud of energy so it is going to be with you for a while so therefore uh, and it speeds up and slows down so we really can't give an accurate uh, time elapse I could give you an approximation that it will last from about the middle of September to the beginning of February but that is an approximation that is not a stable uh, or a, a, an exact time period but I can see that it is going to be a beautiful time for Earth especially Mother Earth oh I know she needs a lot of help right now and so many things are happening in your near future as predicted by so many other uh, entities in the cosmos and we are also predicting uh, other things as well during this fourth dimensional energy period however the fourth the people that are accepting this fourth dimensional energy will be much better off than some of those that are not do you understand that they will be uh, denying that they're feeling anything they will be denying that it's existing and trying to to uh, not uh, pretend like they're not going psychotic because that's the way they're going to feel a little bit not not completely but every now and then they're going to see themselves about 10 feet away or whatever and they're going to to question that or they're going to see people that were not alive at one period and alive in another period or they'll see their something their house that looks the same but different or a place 
that looks the same but different in a different timeline when they're moving along through their daily work. So these are things to expect, but it's not it's not anything to be frightened of. It's to be excited about, actually. You must be excited about this because it is a, a time of experience where no one else in your whole history has experienced. So it is a time when you will just be excited and go with the flow and talk to one another and just experience each other in a newer way because you will be feeling um, different portions of yourself coming in as well because you will be you are slightly different in other timelines so you will be experiencing yourself in some different ways and maybe it's it's like ooh i'm not sure that i like that portion but for the most part in fourth dimensional energy it will bring the positive portions of those other people to you as well so you'll be experiencing lots more positivity about yourself because you may discover in another timeline that you have or you're using talents that you're not using in this one and you might want to just bring that out in this timeline because they are there eternally within the God soul of course when you connect to the source of God he is the creator and you are creative and there's nothing you really you can't do so if you're using other talents in close timelines you might want to just say mm, maybe I should develop that if that's something that's interesting to you so anyway I'm just giving you a little update is there any questions did I leave anything out of there Any questions? Well, I haven't got any questions right now except for one that was written in. Um, I can tell you, ask you, can you tell me why other groups are not familiar with your group? Because it's not able to be see by, seen by some of the other groups. You see, it's fourth dimensional energy. If you live in fourth dimensional energy, you might not even be able to see it because it's just what you live in. It looks like the same thing. So, I mean, but they should be able to de detect that it's coming. But the fifth dimensional people are aware of it because it is a different dimension. Third dimensional people are aware of it, but they can't see it. You see, the scientists of Earth are able to detect it, but they really don't know what it is. They th it's like the energy of some of the spaceships because they are fourth dimensional energy however this energy is fluctuating a lot more it's moving with it. it's not fluctuating like really fast but it is fluctuating within itself in a way that is very different than any of the ships that are in the in the the solar system or any of the that they have contacted or any of the cloaked ships so therefore yes many would not be aware of it if they're coming from the dimension that it's from because they would just see it as their own thing they will not see it as anything special necessarily except for the fluctuation of course but they would it's not something for them to be excited about so therefore they don't report it but for it to hit through the center of the solar system they may be reporting it eventually afterward or during uh, so but you know it, it is what it is God has put things the way they are for a reason so not everyone will be telling everyone because he might not want everyone to know there are some surprises for some people coming up so therefore it will be what it is and he will have his own way about all these things. I cannot tell you why it is what it is, but I can tell you that it is definitely there. Because many are people are of uh, your people are already experiencing it and not quite in full force yet, but they are feeling it and they Valerie, you know that you're feeling it too. And many other people are. Wendy, you're feeling it. I know that others are as well. And there's there's people in this room that have experienced it already so this energy is for a positive reason and is for a positive growth for your uh, belief system not only for your belief system but your experience 
your positive movement to bring up the vibration of the planets, it's going to be wonderful, I believe. I have changed my mind about having it be a warning because it I was just unaware of all the different things that it was doing. But now that I've been made aware by some other species and and uh, speaking to the God entities, I am totally accepting and uh, I'm totally saying, here it comes. Here it comes. That's a wonderful, that's comes. a great answer, Jim. Um, yes? Sheer has a question. Oh, you... Sheer, how are you? You've experienced it already, too. Hello, Ish. How are you? I am wonderful. Um, you mentioned that uh, the energy will affect uh, different people in different way, and yes. you mentioned a fifth dimensional people. There what are fifth dimensional. Yes, fifth dimensional people will be able to see it. Yes. So there are people here on third density that actually experience fifth density. Well, the fifth and there is a portion of the cloud that is fifth dimension. I do not think that portion will be affecting you at all because that's not what is necessary. But the fourth dimensional energy will be affecting you, and I think that is the part that they really want to go through. So don't worry about the fifth dimensional. I do not think you will be experiencing anything fifth dimensional. It is on the upper half of the cloud. There is a section of it that is all fifth dimensional, but the fourth dimensional portion will be going through your Earth area in full force. Okay, thank you very much. much You're love. welcome. Okay, Carolina. Hello, this is Carolina. Carolina, how are you, dear? I'm okay, much love. Much love to you as well. Ish, um, I think it's so lovely that humanity is connected more with the higher frequencies. I love that, the new species. Um, and I was wondering if you could tell us how or who protects humanity from species whose agenda is not what they say it is. I'm not sure I understand the question. So if somebody comes to us, you know humanity, we're in 3D dimension. Yes. Uh, sometimes we cannot detect other species agenda, like true agenda. Oh, and I understand what you're saying. You want to know if the fourth dimensional energy will be able to help you detect someone that is of not of a proper energy. Yeah, uh, it, uh, how who protects humanity from species whose agenda is not what they say it is. You will be able to detect. I, I think every person in this room and on this uh, particular telecast will be able to detect if negative energy is around them because of who they are and how they are living their life and the energy that is within them. They, you cannot be fooled at this time if your intention is positive. You cannot be fooled. There are those that can be fooled because they are not in any intention. They are not in any sort of realm or in any sort of um, goal with the energy. Do you understand? So if you have a goal with your energy, if you have a goal in setting your energy to detect these things, you will be able to do so. It is just the way it is. Your intentions have much to do with it. And if you have no intentions, of course you could possibly be fooled. But if your intentions are to move in a positive direction and to have a positive swing on the ascension or, or with the people that are around you, then you will surely detect negativity. Now, that doesn't mean you run screaming. It does mean that you send that person energy or that entity energy so that they might understand that you are of a positive nature. They will know what you are doing. They will know when you are sending them positive and good energy to change their energy and they may run screaming but not you. You stand firm. You stand firm and and bring out your positive energy and let them run screaming if that is what's necessary. 
but you do not run screaming from anything negative. That is to give them the upper hand and let them know that, yes, you are afraid of negativity. You are not. You are not afraid of negativity. Negativity is to be used to enforce the feelings of positivity. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. I love you. You are very welcome. Hello, Ish. I have a couple of member questions for you. Very, very well. And there is questions in the room as well. All right. Well, let me uh, go through the members online, and then we can go through the members in the room. Absolutely. Um, the first one's from Astrid. She'd like me to ask you to comment on the specific energies of the solstice, the full moon, and how all in the group can use this collectively and individually for the purpose of moving ascension forward. Well, the, the energies that are coming and are already have shown up, actually, for the solstice on the 20th of your uh, June are very calming. Very, very calming energies. Now, I know that there's many, the Pleiadians have, have said that there are going to be very many disruptions during this time. I, I do not see that. I see that it's a very calming energy. I see that it's a very loving energy. And it is a preparation for the fourth dimensional energy that is coming and for all the disruption that is coming in the fall. This is your time of meditation. This is your time to prepare yourselves, if you will, for the greater good, for the greater things. And it is going to be, if you intend it to be, it will be the most calming and beautiful and uplifting energy for you at this time. These energies that are coming from the solstice, and they're already here, actually, but they will be the most powerful on your 20th especially in the evening, when when you are experiencing it, it with the groups of people that will be experiencing it, it will be like a lightning bolt around the planet. So, and it will be like a beautiful, warm sensation. It's, it will be like warm water pouring on you because it is that soothing and that beautiful and that powerful. So just expect that it will be a calming and very but a very energizing calm in the sense that it will make you want to meditate want to make you become part of something very positive make you want to feel your make you want to touch someone to share the energy that is there with them because you are going to know that their energy is expanding and you're going to want to be part of that and they're going to be want to part, be a part of your energies as well. Does that make sense to you? I think that was a very wonderful explanation of how things are going to expand and change. Love. It's going to be a, a love feeling. What you understand to be a love feeling. I have another question from Omran. He says, hello Ish, much love and gratitude to you. Much love. He says he finds himself being separated from others at times, and it hurts him to interact with 3D people. It's like living in another reality, and much information and knowledge comes back to him from the astral, which, is not, which does not make sense to him at all. Are these sudden changes in him connected to this energy cloud, or how will the energies around him change in September? Oh, that's another question. Um, he says, I feel like I will awaken a huge degree. So he's asking, well, how's, this, how's this going to affect him? First of all, let's start with the first question. You've always been affected by third dimensional people. You've always be, feel, felt the disconnect with third dimensional people. So that is not something that is new. That is not something that has just started, although it's getting greater. And let me explain why. Because you are alien at the root of your thought processes. You are alien at the, at the root of your understanding. You are from a higher dimensional past life, and therefore you have that disconnect. There are many of you that do. Many of you that are experiencing a third dimension right now have a huge disconnect with it because you are 
wanting that energy from the other realm that you came from. And that makes total sense because the other realms were much higher, much easier to to move through, much easier to be accepted in, much easier to to speak your mind in because they're more accepting. So right now it will get a little worse with the fourth dimensional energy, yes, but actually just embrace the fourth dimensional energy as it is. Those people with these fourth dimensional energy gaps will come together in one way or another. Here you are with all these people that there are some in this group that feel exactly the same way as you do. They are disconnected exactly in the same way and, and are bringing in fourth dimensional ener uh, energy and information in exactly the same way you are because you are going through this period in your time. It is a time of great acceleration for your people, a time of great um, change for the population of this planet. So it is actually, if I may say so, fairly normal for you. So therefore, do not be upset, but embrace it in a way that will, if you do embrace it, you will find that you will be able to communicate to the third dimension if you if that's what your intention is. If you would like to uh, be able to communicate with the third dimension, then take your fourth dimensional energy, intention your fourth dimensional energy to become more useful, useful is a good word, and you will be able to now bring yourself into a third dimension using fourth dimensional help. How's that? And I know that many of you have experienced that. You have been able to communicate with people because of fourth dimensional help. And there's many situations. I heard so many situations from your planet about how people are just spontaneously reacting to your fourth dimensional energy. Because their fourth dimensional energy needs company. Does that make sense to you? Yes. So find your fourth dimensional energy. Do not be afraid of it. Other people have fourth dimensional energy that's overflowing and they have no one to speak to. And they need company. Their fourth dimensional energy needs affirmation. Affirm your friends. Affirm those people that you find with the fourth dimensional energy coming out of them and they will be drawn to you instantly. You have no idea. That is why so many people are drawn here. Because their fourth dimensional energy needs company and it needs affirmation and it needs to be talked about and they cannot talk about it in the third dimension. And so here they are. So come to come with us and talk to us. That's wonderful ish. That Brings us to another very interesting question from member Rhonda. She says, Dear Ish, I'm told by my guides that I could possibly relocate via the Mandela effect. Is that possible? Can you confirm? Could I really just one day live someplace else without moving? Well, the Mandela effect is not going to be that strong in the sense that it's going to change people's... Um, their what is it it's not going to they're not going to change their need to be where they are at that moment they are going to need to be in the third dimension in that place because that's where they were born to for a particular reason for certain lessons and things of that nature now you may bilocate now what i mean by that you may end up in some other place for a temporary period and that is all right. You may bilocate because your astral body needs to be in two places at once. And there, that is a possibility. But for you to move entirely to one place and not return to another, not, that is not going to happen. But you will bilocate. And you will have a reason for that. 
your subconscious will know what the reason is, and perhaps even your conscious mind may know what the reason is. However, you will not be living in two places at one time, but you may be visiting for some reason. And this is a very positive reason. You may need to go somewhere because there's people that are ill, and you may be able to take your consciousness there and help them heal in another place or or feel their energies in other places that cause you to emote your caring and giving energy to them for a particular reason. Most times my location has a, a great purpose of being with the ill, being with those that are dying and affirming that there is life that they are moving into a greater understanding. Now, if you're going somewhere with the ill and they're, they have no chance of getting better, why would you want to go there? You are affirming that life is going to continue. You are affirming that they are part of all things. And you are affirming that your love is going to them and you are connecting with them with your particular fourth dimensional energies and with your love and healing. So therefore, no, you will not live in another place because you have a definite need to be where you are, a purpose to be where you are, but you will visit other places if that is what God desires of you. <laughs> Is there other questions? There's one in the room here. Yes. yes, let's do the room first. Come over and speak into the microphone. Hello, Is. Hello. How are you? <laughs> awesome. Thank you. So my question is this. As the fourth dimensional energy increases here, yes. there's, there seems to be violence increasing and a certain violent ideology getting bolder and increasing. So is this fourth dimensional energy going to also calm them down or are they going to get stronger because they are trying to work against it or put it down? Thank Very you. good question. But right now on your planet, violence and the negativity that is there is separated from the fourth dimensional energy that we are part of. They do have some understanding of it, they do have some of it in their brains. However, they choose not to use it, and they choose to the way that they are going. And eventually, eventually, as the fourth dimensional energy rises on your planet, they will be consumed by it. But it will not happen right away. Let me tell you why. Because they are fighting against it, for one thing. They're fighting against the fourth dimensional energy because, A, they don't like change. They want things to stay the way they are. They do not, they want to be the leaders. They want to have control. When fourth dimensional energy comes, will they want the same thing? I don't think so. They may want some attention, but not the kind that they're getting at this time. They may want some love and guidance, but not what they're getting. They, don't, they won't want to destroy to feel the power that they will have. They will want to feel the power that they have to help others. Now you may say, oh, that's an idealistic thought. But you know, idealism is God. God is idealistic. Why should we not strive for that? Why should we not strive to be more like a god? It's not like we don't have it in ourselves. I'm speaking of us as a plural because God is within me as well, even as a spirit. But remember, you must feed that thought process. <laughs> You must not just ignore it and think that it will get stronger. You must feed that, pro that process so that you can understand that you can overcome. Thank you. You, you are welcome. Did that answer your question? Yes. But you're right. They will get more violent for now. 
Is but it, it? it's only temporary. Is yeah. it like the darkest before the dawn right now? It is in some ways, yes. Uh, Bria, Bria has a question. Bria, is that right? Yes. 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 Um, okay, hi, Ish. Um, Speak up. I'm, I'm <laughs> curious if the fourth dimensional waves yes. are going to help Mother Gaia in her rebirthing process, and if that may potentially start to take place this year, mm -hmm. and if all of this is connected, and um, especially it's, with all the stuff that may happen to the Earth in that process. Exactly why this energy, they're calling this energy. That's exactly why they called the energy, is because Mother Earth needs a little break. Mother Earth needs some healing energy right now because she's been exploded on, shot up, you know, damaged with radiation, <coughs> pushed pollution upon her and her skies. And this is going to be a little bit of a, a little bit of a breath of fresh air for her so that she can recover enough to bring us the future peace that is coming. The energies will calm down and she will be a little more in a way to help humanity. How's that? Beautiful. That is Beautiful. what she is wanting to do. But you know, she's still fine right now. I mean, she manages to be happy through the worst conditions. <laughs> But she is also in need of your healing prayers and your energy. But this fourth dimensional energy will definitely is being brought here especially for her and not as much for you, but more for her, which I am now understanding. Good. Beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ah, I think that it's time for me to go. That is enough questions, unless there's something really pressing. Okay, Ish. Well, we would like to thank you so much for taking the time to come and speak with us today and clarify our thoughts about the energies coming our way. It's always a pleasure, my dear. Always. Mm, namaste. And now, I understand what needs to be done. So, therefore, I am going to... Go away and bring Jim back for a moment. Have a wonderful day. Yes, that's the right message. Very good. Love you, Ish. Thank love you, Ish. Love you, Ish. Love you all. I love you all. <laughs>